Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. Everyone has a picture in their head of the Vikings, fierce, bearded Scandinavian warriors who came across the sea in longboats to terrorize and plunder Britain. And indeed, they must have been terrifying, with names like Eric Bloodaxe, Ragnar Harrybreeks, and Ivar the Boneless. What many people don't realize, however, is that the Vikings stayed for quite a long time, had a significant impact on Britain, and even left their mark on the English language. Vikings began raiding Britain in 787 AD. At first, they mostly went after soft targets, the rich monasteries that dotted the coast. They would then return home to Scandinavia. But soon, the Vikings spread inland, conquering as they went. The Danes ruled most of the south and east of England for a time, but the Anglo-Saxons gained the upper hand in 878 AD under Alfred the Great. During this period, Alfred established a system of laws. Crimes were no longer considered to have been committed against only the victim. There were offenses against the entire English people. England at this time grew wealthy and prosperous. However, in 980 AD, the Danes pushed further into England, ruling the entire country until 1042, when Edward II, the Confessor, assumed the throne. English rule lasted until 1066 and the invasion of William the Conqueror, who had crossed the channel from Normandy and France. This marked the beginning of a new era. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute. <laughs>